September 10th, 2021. Guys, today is the peak of 2021's hurricane season. So I guess we only got to the end of November. What would that be? A uh, couple of months, maybe two and a half months or so. But we're in the peak today. And there's a system in the Gulf. It's uh, just a disorganized group of uh, showers and thunderstorms. But there's a low pressure system that has come ashore in the southern area, in the bottom section, central section of this, of the Yucatan Peninsula, that has about an 80% chance of mingling over into the Bay of Campeche in the next, uh, overnight tonight and into tomorrow, and then mixing with what you're seeing in the Gulf and creating some type of tropical weather. Notice the wind patterns are exactly the way they were just a couple of days ago when we saw the system move over Florida. Notice that, and out into the Atlantic. And by the way, that storm did follow the predicted path and not skate up the East Coast, but moved out into the Atlantic itself. But the wood smoke, to me, this is unprecedented after... As many years as I can remember being um, in the position to watch satellite images where that technology was available to us, I've never seen this thickness of uh, wildfire smoke. Now, if in my voice is very small, but if I could reach out, if I had that ability, and maybe some of you do, to talk to the governors in your state and ask them to call California, Oregon, and Washington, and Idaho, and offer the assistance of your the National Guard's uh, air division, the ones that are capable of moving folks in and dropping water and things like that. Bring all of that together because it looks a little out of hand, and I know, uh, and I'm not taking anything away from the local firefighters and on the West Coast because I, I've read reports where they're doing everything they can but they need help. And um, some of these fires are very suspect. Now we know in the end times, it will not be by flood, it will be by fire. And may, But this would be a very small symbolic reminder of that. But something needs to be done about it because we've seen different things mixed with this uh, wildfire smoke. We've seen the different trails that come through. But, guys, this is getting out of hand, and we have too big and too powerful of a military, National Guard, uh, first responders to let this go on. And that tells you that there's problems at the helm of this boat. And it may be intentional. Whatever it is, someone needs to get in charge and handle it. But let's look at the local weather. Now, this is the five-day outlook from the Tropical Weather Center down in Miami, Florida, from the Hurricane Center. And you see Larry is uh, very close now to approaching the, uh, what would this be, Iceland. It says maximum sustained winds, 80 miles an hour, central pressure, 958 millibars, moving north-northeast at 35 miles an hour. Even though it's a Category 1, remember, the outside inertia of a storm as it slows down from a Cat 2 to a Cat 1 remains, uh, it has a lot of characteristics of a Cat 2 simply because that push was exerted in that period of time. Even though the center has slowed down, just be prepared uh, along the shores there for, uh, again, 80 mile per hour sustained winds and high waves. Now, you've got a system here coming off of Africa, 70% chance of formation. We'll watch it as it develops. But here, this is what I was talking about. You've got an 80% chance of cyclone formation in five days. The system is now, again, southern section of the Yucatan Peninsula, expected to move along the coast of Mexico and possibly impact Mexico, maybe with a direct hit, we're not sure yet, but notice the cone does extend and pass the Mexican and Texas border. And what they're saying, it says 80% chance of cyclone formation in five days. The northern part of a tropical wave is interacting with a surface trough over the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. 
And that was all the storms we were seeing. The merger of these features is producing a large but disorganized area of showers and thunderstorms over the western Caribbean Sea, Central America, and the Yucatan Peninsula and Gulf of Mexico. Let me throw in there the Bay of Campeche. Environmental conditions are expected to be conducive for gradual development over the weekend and a tropical depression is likely to form on Sunday and Monday, tomorrow Saturday. Regardless of development, this disturbance is expected to produce heavy rain across portions of Central America and the Yucatan Peninsula through Saturday, which may lead to flash flooding and mudslides. By late this weekend, now pay attention, including coastal Texas and Louisiana through the middle of next week, localized significant rainfall amounts will be possible, resulting in limited flash and urban flooding. And guys, there's so many people down here, they're still trying to recover from Ida. Uh, but all I can do is report it, let you know what's going on, and uh, hate to. Uh, sometimes I hate to do it. But if you're on the wall and that's your job, you have to. So you saw in the beginning of the video, if you don't back up and, rem and look at the satellite images of how much energy is in the Gulf of Mexico right now, and again, today's the peak of hurricane season. So don't be surprised, Texas, Mexico, Louisiana, maybe some of the other Gulf states of what this thing does. But we're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.